Now in question 4 part A we're asked to draw the speed time graph for the motion of the car from A to B. And I've done that here so make sure you've got your axes marked and just run through this with you that the car stayed at a constant speed of 25 meters per second for the first 30 seconds then it decelerated uniformly, so it's got to be a straight line, until it reached a speed of 10 meters per second, and then continued at a constant speed until eventually, after 90 seconds, it reached B. OK, so you should have a graph looking something like that. Now, in part B, we were told that the total distance travelled was 1,410 meters and we've got to find the deceleration. Uh, now in order to do this what I'm going to do is I need to know the time that it reached a final speed of 10 meters per second. So what I'm going to do is just drop a line down to there and this will be T. Now because total distance is the area under the graph, okay, or is represented as the area under the graph, okay, I'm going to split this up into a rectangle, a trapezium, and another rectangle. And to work out this deceleration, I need to know this value of t, alright, so that I can then work out the change in velocity over the time taken. And that will give me the acceleration, and then I can then write down the deceleration. So first of all then, we've got to get this value of t. And to do that, what I'm going to do is look at these areas, which I'm going to label a, b, c, and I know that the sum of these areas will come to 1,410. So we'll start with that as 1,410 equals now the area of a, which is going to be the area of a rectangle, so that's going to be 25 times 30. So put that down there. And then plus the area of B. Now B is a trapezium. It's got two parallel sides. And the formula for the area of a trapezium is the sum of the parallel sides times the distance apart divided by 2. So if we look at the sum of the parallel sides, that will be 25 plus 10. So that's going to be 35. It's multiplied by the distance apart, which is going to be t minus 30. And that's all divided by 2. OK, now we have the area of C. So it is going to be the area of a rectangle, so it's be that height, 10 times that distance across there, 90 minus t. So we have plus 10 times 90 minus t. So you have an equation now which we can solve for t. Now it's not a difficult equation but I'm just going to leave you to work that out, okay? Most probably you might want to multiply through by 2 and then just rearrange it for t. But after quite a few lines, okay, possibly, you should end up with t equaling exactly 38. 38 seconds, okay? Now, to work out the acceleration, alright, okay, the acceleration is the change in velocity, or in this case, we just need to look at the speed. It went from 25 down to 10, so using the formula V minus U all over T, we see that this is going to equal V, which is 10, minus the initial speed, here was 25, and it took, well, it took 8 seconds because we now know that T was 38, 38 minus 30, 8 seconds. Alright, okay, and so 10 minus 25 is minus 15, over 8 turns out to be minus 1.875, and 
and that be in meters per second per second. Now that's the acceleration, but remember that in this question they didn't ask for the acceleration, but the deceleration. Okay, so the deceleration will be just simply 1.875 meters per second per second. All right, so we have the deceleration then calculated. And that brings us to the end of question four.